Okay, now that you um, have learned about how to solve systems of three equations using Gaussian elimination, I'm going to show you a way that you can use your calculator. And um, the method we're going to use here are called matrices, okay? So um, a singular, it's matrix. Um, and a matrix is just a way that we're allowed, we can store the data in our calculator. And then the calculator can actually do Gaussian elimination for us and um, give us the answer. So here's the system that we're going to look at. Negative x minus 5y minus 5z equals 2. 4x minus 5y plus 3z equals 19. And x plus 5y minus z equals negative 20. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a matrix. In matrix, we use these little kind of square brackets. and each space is going to be a coefficient, the number, in front of one of our variables. So across the top here, we're going to look at the first equation, and we're just going to write down the coefficient. So negative 1, negative 5, negative 5, 2. And we'd want to make sure that we keep it the same each time. This first column would be the x's, the second column is going to be the y's, the third will be the z's, and then the last one will be what's on the other side of the equal sign. And these are called our columns. And down, we're going to have equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. And these are called our rows. And we talk about the dimensions of a matrix, and it's the rows by, which we have three rows here, by the column. So this is a 3 by 4 matrix. Okay, if you had more equations and more unknowns, you could expand this. Okay. So let's look at equation, let's get rid of some of the junk here. Just make it clear while you're watching the video. Okay, um, the second equation here, we have 4x minus 5y plus 4z equals 19. The third equation, we have 1x, 5y, negative 1z minus 20. And if so you didn't have a z in one of the equations, you'd want to put a zero where the z would have been. Okay, now to put this in your calculator, you're going to hit the second button, and then the, sorry, you don't need to hit second at all. <laughs> you're just going to hit the matrix button. Okay, which is right here. You're going to go over to edit and hit enter. Okay, now we're going to put in our dimensions. So when we have three equations and three unknowns, we're going to do three by four, and you'll see that it changes and gives you enough spots. Now we're going to input what we just wrote here. So negative one, you hit enter after each one. Negative five, negative five, two, four, negative five, 4 and 19. You want to be really careful. The biggest mistake I see is um, students put in a number wrong and that will screw everything up. You want to make sure you hit enter after that last one. Okay. Now, what we need to do is put this in what's called reduced row echelon form. That's going to give us our answer. And um, to do that, we're going to hit second quit. We're going to go back to the home screen. We're going to hit matrix, we're going to go over to math, and then we're going to go down and look for one that says RREF. So B here says RREF, so we're going to hit enter there. Now we need to tell it that we want it to do it to matrix A, that's where we put stuff in. So Oops, just hit matrix, choose A, and then you're going to hit enter. And that gives us our reduced row form, which is 1, 0, 0, negative 2, 0, 1, 0, negative 3, 0, 0, 1, 3. Okay, and what this tells us is that x is equal to negative 2. So this is saying 1x is equal to negative 2. 1y is equal to negative 3, and z is equal to 3.